Alright guys, James here with JW and Lawn Care and Landscaping. Um, just a short video. Uh, thought I'd make, because I know I haven't made anything in a few days. A couple of things I want to talk about. Um, I do know, first of all, um, I do know in my, one of my older vlogs, vlog 25, there it is. I just have my videos page up, incidentally. Um, I was talking about a uh, John Deere Z335E and um, what I thought about those because I was thinking maybe I should um, you know, have a look at one. They're 42 inch and all that kind of thing. Good price. Um, but I was up at our uh, farm yesterday and I said to Dad, oh, you know, I've seen a couple of mile shops on the way, past time harbour and so on. Can we stop past for a couple of minutes and uh, have a look at them? He said, oh, yeah, all right, fine. Um, so we stopped there at a place called... Med Moses, Med Moses, I think, or something. Um, they're right next to the Home Hardware in Kyneton, and uh, they are a gravely greenfield uh, Ferris and a couple of other brand dealers. They sell Echo and everything, um, and Shinda, all those kinds of things. So they're kind of just a general mower shop. Um, the guy in there, well, I went in and had a chat to the owner or bloke at the desk there, I think he kind of lost his uh, ability to talk with customers in a sociable way when he was born, but he, uh, you know, um, I spoke to him and he, so I said, look, here's the deal, um, I've got a gardening business down in Melbourne, um, what can you do for me, I'm looking at a zero turn, I said, he said, oh, you know, um, got these Gravelys, and I said, oh, okay, um, because... I thought, oh, um, you know, I'd, I'd heard about them, I'd seen, you know, the Gravely uh, Compact Pro 34, I think it is, but that's, you know, it's basically a pretty similar thing, similar engine, similar everything, why is this door open? Um, and he, um, I, I'd seen that, but they're like, I think they're 10 grand or something, but they, um, they've got like a commercial deck and everything, and I thought, oh, you know, I haven't seen any of those around here. But he said, oh, look, there's a um, ZT42 out the front. And um, if you need, like, something to get into tight spaces, because I'd said, look, the problem I have is I've got big yards and tiny gates. Um, so he said, look, um, we've got the ZT42 out the front, which has a 42-inch deck. Um, but he said, we also have a ZT34 in a box out the back, um, which hasn't been put together yet. And that's 34 inches. Um, he said, that's probably your best bet. He said, oh, I think it's just under six grand. Uh, sorry, five grand. Um, so it's, a, oh, it's in the same car ballpark as the um, Z335, but with a 34-inch deck. Um, because, to be honest, I think most of the gates for my clients where I'd be needing one of those is, you know, they're probably only around 34-inch gates anyway. So, uh yeah, so I'm, I'm having a look at those. I've been, you know, looking around on online. Here they are. Well, that's the 42 model here, just on their um, Gravely information card sheet thing nearby. Um, so this is basically the mower. It's the same as this, but it's just got a 34-inch deck. Um, it has a 21-horsepower Kohler 6000. So this is for the 34 here. Um, so it's got a 21 horsepower engine, 660 cc's, not bad. It's only got a seven and a half liter fuel tank, but um, you know, I'm not I'm not too worried about fuel because the coal is pretty good on petrol. Um, it's got a um, it's got a foot operated deck lift, which I really like. Um, as opposed to the John Deere, which has just a hand one. So when you say turning and so on, you can, um, you know, lift the deck up with your foot a bit. And it's just a really easy deck height adjuster. I love it. Um, it's got a nice seat with um, springs in it. Uh, it's not too heavy. It has um, decent warranty and so on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about one of those because I know a couple of other guys that I, uh, I'm friends with in the year around here they have or have had um, the same kind of thing uh, a lot of them have the ZT XL I think which is kind of like eight nine grand but they're 44 inch decks and so that won't really suit what I need um, but yeah so just quickly thought I'd say you know I'm, I'm looking at those um, 
because they do look def uh, decent. A uh, place called Alp, is this it? I think, I think it is. A place called uh, All Power. Oh, and there's zeroturns.com.au. Um, they've got them for four thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. They've got a nine-point-seven case now. Um, but I think this place called All Power has them at a. Oh no, sorry, not All Power. Uh, Acacia Mower Centre in uh, Queensland. They've got the ZT thirty-four at four thousand one hundred dollars, which is even cheaper than the John Deere. So you know. Um, oh, here's the deck height adjuster. Here it is. So that's kind of like you on your. Just uh, connected to your foot pedal, so you just push a pedal to in, then you can move this lever to any one of the seven positions, and that lowers the deck down. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm trying to have a look at what freight would cost me because I've got a niggling suspicion that um, by the time, because again, this is in Queensland, this Acacia Mower Centre. So I've got a little bit of a suspicion that by the time I, even though it's only $4,100 on here, I, th I think that by the time I freight it down to Melbourne, I think it's something like a day's drive, thinking for something of that size, by the time it gets shipped down here, it will probably still end up being about the same price. So I'm better off just doing a one hour drive to Kynes and then picking one up or a 39 minute drive out the other side of the city to another place. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can maybe try one out because, um, especially with an investment like this, you really want to make sure it's, like, suited for you. That's what I particularly like about some Honda deals and still deals and so on around here. They don't really like doing demos. Um, they just kind of say, you know, we just sell the product. I'm like, well, you know, if you're buying an expensive thing, like, especially like a mower, I mean, I know it's a cheap zero turn. That's one of the cheapest you'll find. But, it is still, you know, four and a half grand, right? So, it's still, even though it's cheap in terms of what it is, it still ain't cheap in terms of money. Um, so, I kind of want to try one and just see, you know, whether it's going to actually do what I want it to do. Um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, so that's a bit about the Gravely. Second thing, um, I am reviewing, I've decided... Right, it's been a year now since I uh, commenced operations, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've written a survey, a uh, kind of customer satisfaction and uh, product suggestion survey kind of thing um, for all my customers to do, so I've sent that out to them all, just kind of saying, you know, what do you like about my business, what don't you like, what do you think could be improved, are you happy with pricing, servicing, that kind of thing. Uh, and I've also had another bit on it saying, you know, these are a few services I'm thinking of adding on. What do you think of them? Uh, would you be interested in them? Would you not be interested in them? Um, so I'm having a look into that. I might just quickly check now if I've actually uh, got any responses yet. But yeah, so it's it's a, a good it's a good thing to do actually. Survey your customers because the problem is if they never you know tell you oh actually you know I'm not very happy with the way you do this or that then you never know and that's what I've said to my customers and they said oh can you actually you know cut a bit lower or this or that whatever I've said you know thank you for telling me because yes okay it means I'm not doing something right but it means that I'm you know it means that I've actually I can learn and I can do something about it, I can make it a better experience. Um, so, you know, no. No responses yet. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so, um, it's just a good idea. Um, so you can figure out what you're actually, you know, what you're doing well, what you're not doing well, and whether it'd be worth introducing new services that can make you more money, especially, say, in winter. Um, so, a couple of the new ones I think of memory that I suggested about um, possibly introducing were uh, pressure washing, um, I think maybe gusset cleaning, no, was that one? I'm not sure. It was pressure washing, uh, general house cleaning was one. So, I'm thinking what I'd do is I'd just hire a few cleaners, so while I'm out mowing the lawn with uh, me helpers, um, I'll get to in a minute as well, actually. Um, the cleaner people can be in the um, house doing their thing, and we can be outside doing our thing, and we just put all our equipment on the one big trailer. Um, 
so yeah that's a good thing to do I'm also uh, raising uh, reviewing my prices and raising some um, just because I've kind of realized that I didn't quote them really well um, when I started so I'm you know trying to fix that up now but also um, you know every basically everything's getting more expensive these days um, you know petrol's getting more expensive and equipment's getting more expensive and all that kind of thing so I've, I've kind of got to you know reflect that in our prices because if I don't um, and also I'm now paying a helper which I'll go to in a moment um, so I've got to you know I've got to factor all that in so I can make money on all my properties because if I don't make money on a property there's no point servicing it um, so yeah that leads me into the next thing um, good old Connor who I was talking about I um, I did get him doing some work for me the other day I didn't have time to film at all unfortunately because we were just so busy um, we had I think we did seven in the end um, which isn't too many but you know it was in less than half a day we had to get them done because uh, my dad had to run off so we had to get them done before then um, but obviously you know it was his first day as well so he, he, he was kind of still learning the ropes so we didn't uh, we didn't move as quickly as I was hoping but we stayed relatively on track um, he does very well I kind of got him trimming edging that kind of thing got him on the uh, 216 a little bit as well um, did make things faster, made me feel a lot less tired, uh, honestly. So um, I'm really happy about that. So I think I'll keep him on because he's he's really good. Um, he comes from two farming families from South Australia, so he's you know he knows how to work. So it's not like he's you know just a slim little kid who's from you know the city and never seen a big patch of grass in his life. I he's you know he's come from two families who've worked their asses off for generations. So. Um, he kind of knows how to as well, and he's well built for it and everything. Like you know, he's a good kid. So I'll try and get some more camera time with him uh, when he next helps me out. But yeah, so he's been really helpful. But again, as I was saying before about raising my prices, I've now got to pay him as well. So um, you know, uh, I've got to make sure that I'm still making money because otherwise I end up like all the money's going to him and I'm not making anything. Um, so yeah, third thing quickly um, is trailer. I have done a very terrible but rough draw up of my uh, proposed new trailer. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, I think Martin from Mowing and Growing, you might recognise a similar design because it is basically uh, based off yours. So, terrible drawing and very not to scale, but um, this was literally done at like 10pm last night while standing out in the dark, not being able to see properly and everything. So basically what I'm trying to do is toolbox at the very front, and this is all on an 8x5 trailer by the way, um, toolbox at the front, mower box uh, in front of the, uh, just behind that, trimmer racks here, maybe a backpack blower rack here or something, and uh, a gaze at the back, a ramp to fold down, and space for a uh, for the gravely or whatever. Um, I figured out I did some measuring up last night. Um, the gravely 34, I'd have two centimeters of spare room by the time I got into this space here. Um, so it'd be a tight fit, but you know, I've only got 1.6 meters at the back of the trailer once I put in the mower box. Um, but Dad's actually suggested what I do is this part, the back wall of the, or the side wall of the mower box, um, I actually have openable. So if I need something bigger in, um, like a bigger mower or something, or a couple of mowers or a couple of push mowers or what have you, and we can open this up. So this will kind of fold up or down or something. I'm, I'm thinking fold up. And then we'll probably kind of like have support. So we'll kind of go like... And then we'll have a pole you can slot into the top of this little uh, trimmer rack here. We'll hold it up. And then you can put a bigger mower or a couple more mowers or whatever in. Or if, in, you know, extra mulch or tree clipping. Whatever you want. Um, yeah, so that's the rough new trailer design. One of my friend's dads, he... Um, he runs a 
company importing cars from Japan and selling them and so on. And he does like servicing and everything. So um, he said, oh yeah, you know, I love welding and all that kind of thing. I'd li I like working on trailers, so you know, it'd be fun to do. So yeah, I'm trying to sort that out with him. Um, yeah, that's basically um, what I've got to say. Also, um, looking at an RZ mask. Because it's getting pretty dusty. So I'm uh, thinking of one of these here masks. 38 bucks or something, 35 dollars, I don't know. Um, also, thank you for 90 subscribers. I'm at 90 now. We just need another 10, and I can get to 100. Um, so, yeah, I'd be really happy if we can uh, do that. It's um, I'm, I'm really happy with how the channel's grown. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, uh, it's made me very happy. Because it's something that, you know, I really enjoy doing, and, you know, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. So if you do, um, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure you get all your friends to subscribe, share the channel around, um, and yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video, that's all i got for now, so have a great night everyone.